instructions I was following um, because it was having problems. Second pop. So. Been to Wix, bought some massive hardboard. Probably shouldn't be using hardboard on the ceiling, but it's cheap and it'll do for a year or so until I get the next. Also bought some drill bits to replace the ones I've snapped. Um, yeah, it's cheap, it'll do. It'll stop the sheepiness from making my head look like a sheep. Um, Fix is going to work on the window coverings today with a cardboard and I'm going to finish off the mountain bike tray and on the story so far um, these are the rails these are all our IKEA old IKEA gear essentially so that that's one this is one that I have not prepared earlier so it's just there. Uh, it was off wardrobe, the old wardrobe in the last house. We brought it with her, thinking we we're going to use this fitted wardrobe. And I had a little hissy fit about it and said, I'm not, I'm no way am I building it back up again after I had moved it like four times already. And it was an utter illegitimate to um, take it apart and build back up. So. I had a hit, little hissy fit and said, no, I'm not doing it. You can if you want to Vix. Um, <clears throat> and then we never got around to, or Vix never got around to putting it together. But we've found loads of old gear that were part of the IKEA wardrobe, like a ton of stuff. So bracketry, this is all old IKEA bracketry. And that makes pretty good L bracket which is what we've got on here and it's loose but you, once you tighten it up locking it up that's that's it like it'll be in place so the plan I've screwed the other one of these <coughs> down into the floor of the van this is the I'm loath to say garage area because it's only pretend Beep. live in their van say garage area this is the um Outdoor gear storage area. It's probably easier to say garage. Bed, obviously, you've seen in previous parts of the video that the bed's going to be built back up to a little higher than what it was to allow for this tray and the bikes to slide in and out easily. Um, with the mounts. There we go. Conveniently conveniently doesn't quite fit the existing holes in the aluminium plate so that's good yeah and that plate obviously was from what we pulled up off the floor so i've cleaned it all up and brushed it up cut it down to size and then that'll do for for the, the for the to slide these sliders will do 100 kilo there's nowhere near two bikes in the plate there's nowhere near 100 kilo um so that's the plan, and these bolts, the M4, are going to get cut down once I've figured out how long they need to be. Um, I love that. I love that that locks out and then locks, locks in. Oh, yeah, locks. That's just because I'm pulling on it. Locks in. Hmm. Oh, that's all right. That's okay. So yeah, so them bolts are gonna bolt this, bolt this on. Um, and try and have as many of these L brackets as I've got hardware to support. I should have bought more, more than twelve of these really, but we're on a tight budget. So just do what I can, I guess. Four points of contact should be enough, but we can always add more if it turns out not to be great. Show you the ply already. Right, I'll show you the finished product. I'm not videoing myself building it because it's dull. Time lapse is dull. 
content creators only use it as filler because they're making an income from their content that they've Sneaky, created. Sneaking in some computer science. So we'll start with one and zero as we all are fully aware. Binary, computer speak, binary, as in by, as in two. So we've got two values. One value and second value. So with those, we can represent a one or a zero. In base 10 or denary from deck 10, we have uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that gives us our, what we call base 10. This is base 2. Don't worry, I will get back to the main video soon. Um, so there's your little bite-size computer science lesson there. Binary, because it's by, meaning 2. Dinary, because it's deck, meaning 10. Okay? Uh, so, if we want to do some clever stuff, we can represent binary numbers with what are called digits, but in our case, we call them binary digits, and we abbreviate that to bits, binary digit, or digits, or di bits. And we have what's called a least significant, significant, I've spelled that wrong, but whatever, least significant bit, or LSB, and that is uh, on the right hand side, and we have the most significant bit, most significant bit that is on the left hand side because of the values so if i've got a little binary string let's say 101 like so that is the least significant bit because it's the smallest value that is the most significant bit because it is the biggest value so 101 because we are going we are remember we are base two base two if it was base 10, we would go up. So if we take, I don't know, the year that we're currently in, we go up in tens. So there's ones, there's tens, there's a hundreds, and there's a thousands. We've got two lots of a thousand, two lots of 10, and one lot of one gives us our year. With binary, it's the same, but we're going up in twos. So there's a one, two, four. Not tens like we did in the uh, dinary one, but in twos. So we've got one lot of four, one lot of one, that is equal to five. Now, back to the van build. This was a complete, complete git. And still is. It still doesn't slide in and out very well. But I'll hand you over to my camera person. Demonstrate Put your fingers over the lens. Look. That's too far. Let's try it. There we go. That's how far it should lock it to. And then we should be able to. Let's do the whole shimai. So printed is on drive side, isn't it?
just do them hand tight I can screw them on properly once it's off to work on it but it'll do for now we'll see how it is when it's been there uh, it's not going anywhere it's not like it's going to slide around in the back of the van because it's locked in but yeah it'll do for now next to the ceiling the story so far crappy hardboard I don't know why I've put the hardboard up, but I've put hardboard up on the ceiling, if you like. Um, not all of it, but I've covered most of it. I couldn't be bothered to continue with it. Cut holes out in the wrong place for the fans. That was good. New solar's in. I probably can't see that. Uh, let's have a look and see if we can do something with it. There we go. It's an e-paver. Epeva, Epeva, one of them anyway. It's very, very good. And it'll go up to 40 amps as well, which means I can put all the rest of the panels I want to put on the roof on the roof as and when I get them and connect them up in parallel. This is a Lewi charging station for my phone. It's all wireless, contactless, whatever you call it anyway. Uh, watch, phone, etc. can all go in there. I think you probably saw previously, but we've got like a hangy thing here for the iPad. It can go in here, and of course, this can come out and can just go onto the kitchen area here if I wanted to do something with it. And Vix has got something similar on her side, although she hasn't plugged her bits in yet. Um, they're not permanent, but they're better than they were, the lights. Switch them off for now. I've got this pegboard from Ikea, which has got all of us bits, um, including the uh, induction stove. Uh, fridge is kind of on a hooky thing now. Can be pulled out and accessed nice and easy. Can switch it on when I need it. If I can get that thing on or not. Yeah, there we go. That's a bit of a dodgy switch. I might have to replace that. With Summit. Cut that bit. New pots and pans and stuff. For induction stove, which is nice. That's the Nespresso essentially. Bigger pots. We'll put some food in there at some point. Uh, what else have I done? 
obviously you know about the captain chairs i'm sure it's that in previous videos well, i've got a nice wireless charging stand thingy for my phone which is nice oh i've taken the old battery diddler monitor let's press the button there we go and that's now connected to the accessory battery because there's two batteries for the transit and then there's a third battery i've got which is leisure batteries um, the reversing mirror camera thingy is in place and it's got a forward camera as well which is cool my mum's mirror that she made us out of sea uh, sea glass which is very pretty and lovely in the van it's very nice of her yum and we've got some bins in there now and I've put probably can't see but there's a divider in there now as I like to have my own organised space and I don't like it to be encroached on because then I can't find anything I shall return floors down although it keeps trying to get back up again I must figure out what to use to seal it down properly it's sorting out properly. This is needs sorting out properly. It's just one of them. Let's get it used things. I'm not bothered about everything being perfect yet. There's plenty of time in winter to sort all that out. But this time of year, I want to just get it ready. I want to get some storage on the roof for windsurf boards. Yeah. Um, more storage on the hill. Which is nice. You've already seen these hooks I put on for the top for an awning. Solar panels on there. That's the reversing camera fitted. And then in here, you've already seen on the other video the sliding tray. light on there we go but I've also got hard to do with one hand which is crap because it should be easy to do there we go so that's all hanging storage for wet stuff cunningly right next to the electrics so I'll probably sort something out but it'll do for now um yeah wetsuits and uh flotation device Terry, me Terry, me towel thing my mom bought is sea skins, awesomeness, and mountain bike pads and gloves and thing. That just slides away under there. That's me uh, clamp for working on the mountain bike. Good. Brilliant. Just goes like so. And I can just open the door up on the back then and the bike can be worked on there. And on this side we've got just a wee bit of a shelf. to keep tools and stuff on while I'm working some bits and bots to help clean the bikes and stuff and that's it really yeah the charger for the e-bikes just there so it can just be pulled down and plugged in when it's on the rack Oh, and there's a bit of a bungee thing here, which I'm not convinced it'll work, to be honest with you. And I've got an old uh, shower curtain there, so if push comes to shove, I can use these magnets. And I can get myself a place to have a shower. I've left a bloody glass in there. Come on, look. And the keys. Flip it. Flip it. No. <coughs> There we go. 
so yeah all put together next will be roof rack i think so i can get boards on the roof because not enough space to put boards sails and booms and stuff can go down that side oh i've also velcroed a box in at the very back let me show you um with a wedge as well which uh is for barbecue gear essentially and there's the new solar there it's the new solar which is nice and all of the load is on that solar now as well the whole load 12 volt load for the whole van is on the solar so if i switch the solar off um the load button on the solar then the whole van 12 volt dies which i prefer because we can just leave it on uh, leave all the load off while it's sat on the drive and it'll just trickle charge the battery ready for them to go away that's that up it is next time i see you we'll be in situ i think bye